Where can you look to find um, savings in your cost base? Um, well, first of all, don't forget that you can also defer costs um, as well as reducing them permanently. Um, or look at it the other way, you can actually delay increases in costs. So, you know, things like staff salary reviews, um, you know, put them off for another year. Question, how ruthless should you be in looking at cost savings? Um, well, to be honest, that really is going to depend on how challenging your position is, how you know, bad the cash position is. Um, but let me just say that plenty of companies are actually reducing salaries by maybe 5%, 10%, um, cutting out bonuses and dividends um, and various other expenses relating to staff rather than actually making redundancies and losing staff, which is um, you know, obviously good. Um, particularly if you really want to retain all of your staff because you're, you're confident that they are all productive. But other key areas of cost savings would include uh, your premises. Do you really need the premises you're in? Could you work out of a smaller um, set of offices or factory, warehouse, whatever? Um, and if you can get out of your current lease and move into a cheaper place, that's better. Or could you even just negotiate a rent reduction with the landlord? Utilities, um, gas, water, electricity, and so on. Um, you can use the price comparison websites, um, as you probably would do at home. Um, if you're a bigger company, it's actually worth getting utility auditors in to, to um, go through your bills and see if they can find better deals for you. Cost of sales um, is obviously an area to look at. So your input prices, um, what you're buying your stock for and so on, have a really good look at those. Um, you know, is there somewhere else you can buy cheaper? Motor and travel expenses. Does everyone really need to travel first class? Do more phone calls rather than face-to-face -face meetings? Marketing. Um, this is an area where uh, you, you often make cuts when times are difficult. It's one of those discretionary um, overheads areas that can be cut usually fairly easily. But just make sure that um, you're not going to hurt your sales in the future um, by cutting your marketing um, too quickly um, or indeed in, in the wrong areas. Um, make sure you understand which elements of your marketing really work. Um, it may be that PR is working, but advertising is really a waste of time. Training, I think a similar sort of message to the marketing. Again, an area that's cut um, fairly quickly, um, but you know, just make sure that um, you are training your staff um, going forward and you don't lose out in the long term on their um, expertise and so on. Keep them up to date. Think laterally and just question every expense in the business. Um, it's often quite easy to take out 10% everywhere and um, very often not even notice it. Um, but just remember that you know 1% out of many areas will add up to quite a lot of money overall. So even the smallest amounts help. Um, and do remember when you're doing your cash flow forecast to see where the cost savings come from, just remember to take uh, to allow time for the savings to come through physically in cash terms. And don't forget about things like redundancy costs if unfortunately you do have to make um, people uh, redundant. Finally, if the outlook is uh, particularly bleak, I would suggest that the best thing you could do is to get an insolvency practitioner uh, who's a qualified person in to advise you particularly if you're a company um, and a director um, to enable you to uh, manage your potential liabilities um, going forward, particularly personal liabilities. Um, an insolvency practitioner can be extremely useful. Getting a practitioner in does not mean that you'll necessarily go into administration or go insolvent. He may actually prevent you and save you from um, having to take those steps.